Bill, the Figure Art Museum offers free admission to the public every Thursday evening, uh, allowing the museum to further its mission of bringing art and people together. Yep, and next Thursday, you can take in the incredible exhibitions at the Figgy while listening to live music. Yeah. Singer, songwriter, and poet Cass is here. Cass, welcome. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for coming today. Uh, we're so excited to talk to you. Uh, you're going to be performing, not this Thursday, not tonight, uh, but next Thursday at the Figgy as part of this musical tour. Okay. Um, it's a really cool series that you're going to be doing. Um, so talk about it. Tell us um, how this idea came about. So this idea came about, um, the Figgy was wanting to bring more programming in to um, give kind of a musical tour of the museum to um, not only enhance the, the art that you're viewing by getting a musical experience during it, but also to enhance the, the music, the musicians and the musical experience that you're getting from it, um, that you're not going to get the background of art anywhere else, really. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So where does your inspiration come from for the music? Because you write original songs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where, where, where does your inspiration come from? Um, most of the time, I'm, I'm really involved with um, topics dealing with femininity. Um, it's kind of crossover with the divine and um, also a lot of topics of grief um, and oh, love sure. and kind of the um, intersection of those two things too. So certainly deeper meanings yeah. behind your music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, stuff a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you feel like your music will complement or enhance people's experience at the museum viewing this art? Yeah, well, the pieces that I selected for this tour, um, some of them I even composed specifically for this tour after viewing the art myself. Um, so my hope is to invite my audience into that conversation that I'm giving the response to the art. And, um, you know, with the added of music um, and the art, you're allowed to explore these themes while having a visual that mm -hmm. my music can't mm -hmm. give to that theme, um, while also hopefully giving a voice to um, the art that it normally would not have. Yeah, and I have to you know, ask how you chose the pieces of art yeah. to, you know, pair with some of mm -hmm. your music, because the Figgy is so vast, there's so much there that they have to offer. Was that difficult? How did you do that? So, going into it, I, I didn't want to have any preconceived ideas sure. of, like, sure. this is what I want to explore or anything. Mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of just take the tour, look around, and, and find what, like, would speak to me. Um, I've been to the Figgy many times, sure, uh, yeah. living in the Quad Cities, and I always know every time I go, um, there are just, just particular pieces that I'm just kind of drawn to, and um, I wanted that to organically happen again and um, just kind of go with what I was feeling there. And we wanted to talk about your background in music, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, clearly just talking with you and how you chose uh, which music pieces were going to go which, with, with which artwork, you have been doing this a while. So talk about your trajectory. How did you yeah. start in, in creating your own music? Well, um, I think I've been, I've been writing, like, um, you know, little songs or poems or stories and stuff yeah. um, about as long as I can remember. Sure. Um, I like to joke that I was making stories and stuff before I could physically write because I'd have my mom like <laughs> write yeah. stuff out for me. Um, and I've always been like, uh, you know, I, I've always liked singing and stuff. Um, but I think I started taking it more seriously about um, midway through high school, early high school. Um, I was in choir. I liked writing a lot and mm -hmm. I, I liked exploring the intersection of that of like making music. Yeah writing lyrics and um, combining the two. Well, and you know, we mentioned that you are a poet, so do you yeah. feel like mm -hmm. that also goes hand in hand with or kind of helps you uh, write, write music? I, I think definitely. I mean, with music, I, my favorite thing is lyrics, yeah. um, and so that obviously has a pretty easy transfer over to poems often, mm -hmm. um, and I find that I explore often the same same things, and they're pretty interchangeable um, in both my poems and lyrics. So obviously you're teaming up with the Figgy for your performance next Thursday, but where can we find you and your music on any other day? Do you uh, do you go to different venues and perform? I, I do. I, I prefer like coffee shops or places like oh, the Figgy sure. where I can um, showcase more of like original work and stuff. Um, I my next performance will actually be on Memorial Day. Okay. Um, Lewis Knutson is hosting oh, wow. uh, some pin drop sessions. So um, 
be on the lookout on some social medias for yeah. that. It is uh, it is kind of an invite only, but it's it's pretty easy to to access those invites. So that sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. Very very cool. And um, another thing that I think we may have mentioned, mm -hmm. but people don't have to register or purchase tickets if no. they want to come see you next Thursday. Yeah, the figure is actually um, from every Thursday from five to eight. Um, they're free. So they That's offer great. free programming during that time. Uh, so my performance will be free. There's no registration for it. Um, no fee. Just That's super come cool. in and yeah. see it. Yeah. That is very cool. Well, we have some exciting stuff yes. still to come because uh, you can see cast next Thursday at the Figgy, of course. But we're getting a preview this afternoon. So join us after the break uh, as Cass gives us a special performance. We will all see you in just a few minutes. We'll be right back.